Blockchain technology has opened a world of possibilities. It has also opened a new field of study known as institutional cryptoeconomics. Institutional cryptoeconomics studies the institutional consequences of cryptographically secure and trustless ledgers. It is the intersection of cryptoeconomics and new institutional economics. Cryptoeconomics focuses on the economic principles and theory underpinning the blockchain and alternative blockchain implementations. It uses game theory and mechanism design theory as they relate to blockchain. Institutional economics considers the social and legal norms and rules that underlie and help coordinate economic activity. Institutional cryptoeconomics draws on both of these fields. As in new institutional economics, it starts with the idea that the economy is a system to coordinate exchange. But rather than looking at the rules, institutional cryptoeconomics focuses on ledgers, that is, data structured by rules. Blockchains are an experimental technology. Whether blockchain can be used effectively is an entrepreneurial question. Some ledgers will move to the blockchain, some won't. But the process of discovery will be extremely disruptive. The global economy faces a lengthy period of uncertainty about how the facts that underpin it will be restructured, dismantled, and reorganized. We've been through revolutions like this before. It is common to compare the invention of Bitcoin and blockchain to the invention of the internet. The internet is a powerful tool that has revolutionized the way we interact. It allows us to communicate and exchange more quickly. But the blockchain allows us to communicate and exchange differently. So a better metaphor for the blockchain is the invention of mechanical time. Before mechanical time, human activity was temporarily regulated by nature. The crow of the rooster in the morning, the slow descent into darkness at night. Mechanical time opened up entirely new categories of economic organization that until then had been not just impossible, but unimaginable. Mechanical time enabled the synchronization of exchange across great distances. It meant that production and transport could be coordinated. It allowed for the day to be structured, for workers to be compensated according to the amount of time employed, and for both employers and employees to be able to look at standard, independent instruments to verify a contract had been performed. Mechanical time was revolutionary, and the blockchain technology holds similar promise. Contracts are at the center of institutional cryptoeconomics. It is here that blockchains have the most revolutionary potential. Smart contracts on the blockchain allow for contractual agreements to be automatically, autonomously, and securely executed. Smart contracts can eliminate an entire class of work that currently maintains, enforces, and confirms that contracts are executed. But smart contracts are limited by what can be specified in an algorithm. Economists have focused on the distinction between complete and incomplete contracts. A complete contract specifies what is to occur under every possible contingency. An incomplete contract allows that the terms of the contract can be renegotiated in case of unexpected events. Complete contracts are impossible to execute. Incomplete contracts are expensive. The blockchain, through smart contracts, lowers the information costs and transactions costs associated with many incomplete contracts, thereby expanding the scale and scope of economic activity that can be undertaken. It allows markets to operate in areas only suitable for large firms before, and it allows businesses and markets to operate in areas previously limited to governments. The precise details of how and when this will occur is a challenge and problem for entrepreneurs to resolve. Currently, Oracles provide the link between the algorithmic world of the blockchain and the real-world trusted entities that convert information into data that can be processed by smart contracts. The real gains to be made are in developing better and more powerful oracles, converting incomplete contracts to contracts that are sufficiently complete to be written algorithmically and executed on the blockchain. The merchant revolution of the Middle Ages was made possible by the development of merchant courts which were effectively trusted oracles that allowed traders to enforce agreements privately. So too it seems likely to be for the blockchain revolution. The blockchain and associated technological changes will massively disrupt current economic conditions. Whereas the industrial revolution ushered in a world predicated on hierarchy and financial capitalism, the blockchain revolution will see an economy dominated by individual autonomy and human capitalism. How that unfolds is unclear at present. Entrepreneurs and innovators will resolve uncertainty as always through a process of trial and error. No doubt great fortunes will be made and lost before we know exactly how this disruption will unfold. 
but institutional crypto economics offers a model for understanding the disruption as it unfolds.